Welcome back friends this is Lena from Vitish Academy and today i am going to prove an theorem on combinations so the theorem is if n comma r are the positive integers with zero less than or equal to r less than or equal to n then ncr is equal to nc n minus r so we have to prove that ncr is equal to nc n minus r so to prove this theorem first let us consider the rhs term which is nc n minus r so we observe that it is in the form of the formula ncr and it is given by n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial where r is equal to n minus r so by applying the formula we get this as n factorial divided by n minus of n minus r factorial into n minus r factorial so this would come as n factorial divided by n minus n and here minus into minus r would come as plus r factorial into n minus r factorial so in the denominator plus n and minus n get cancelled and we can write this as n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial so it is the formula for ncr which is the required lhs so hence make a note of this theorem ncr is equal to nc n minus r as it is important to solve the examples in our next videos and also make a note of the values for nc n is equal to nc 0 is equal to 1 Now let us prove that the value of n c n is equal to one. So we can write n c n in the form of the formula as n factorial divided by n minus n factorial into n factorial. That implies we get this as n factorial divided by n minus n factorial, which would be zero factorial into n factorial. So we can cancel over here n factorial in the numerator and denominator. That implies we get this value as one. Now let us prove that the value of n c zero is also equal to one. So for this, if we substitute the value of r is equal to n in the theorem n c r is equal to n c n minus r, then we get here n c n minus n. That implies we get n c zero. So by using the formula n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. Into r factorial, we get the value of n c zero as n factorial divided by zero factorial into n minus zero factorial. That implies we get this as n factorial divided by zero factorial, and its value is one into n factorial. So again, we can cancel over here n factorial in the numerator and denominator. That implies we get the value as one. So always remember the value of n c n and n c zero equal to one. So this is how we prove a theorem on combinations. Hope you understood this concept. In our next videos, we are going to solve few more examples on the same concept. So stay tuned with us. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.